Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. In the last part, we rematched Groudon and Rayquaza and just about made it through those battles. And as I said, we have more rematches to do. But in between parts, I unlocked the unknown relic by buying the last of the friend areas. We are going to check that out at some point. But right now, rematches are on the cards, and we're going to start with the Fiery Field, I think. I built a team for this. It's Peanut, Titania, and Ashley. And I'll explain why. I didn't want to bring Precious, because Entei is a fire type. And if the other rematches are anything to go by, we're going to have a bit of trouble <laughs> if we have to deal with... Um, okay. We're going to have a bit of trouble if we're going to have to deal with a type disadvantage like that. So I'm bringing Peanut and Ashley because they resist fire. And Titania is just our go-to support, it feels. Look at that. Heal Bell kicking in right on cue. Also, where are my x-ray specs? Who's got them? Oh, Ashley's got them. I want to swap those. I'm leading with Peanut simply because... Otherwise, he won't get to do a whole lot of anything. Because he's just entirely melee range. So hopefully he actually gets a bit more action by me leading with him. That's grimy food, we don't need that. Never mind, Titania wanted it anyway. So yeah, my logic for building this team is not only do we have a type advantage with peanuts and a lot of utility from Titania, steamroll from Ashley means that she's gonna be able to do neutral damage and we still have a pledge combo as well, the uh, fire and water pledge combo, which creates the rainbow effect, which means we have more chance of added effects, which Titania already has an increase to because of their serene grace. So I think it's a pretty cool combo. But again, we know what the fiery field looks like, so I'm going to rush through this, and I'll see you when we get to Entei. Jesus, Peanut, calm down. Update. Peanut is not calming down. Nice. We found a mystery house. And I have an invitation this time. That feels pretty good. What did we get? Magmar, Torkoal, and Arcanine. That's the first time we've seen multiple Pokemon. We get a Revive All Orb, a Reviver Seed, and various other assorted goodies. So we got Magmar with Sales Pitch. Arcanine with Squeeze Out, and Torkoal with Link Boost. Ooh, that's going to be great because the power of linked moves is boosted, and that applies to Peanut. Excellent. All right, squad, let's go. This is the fiery field. It is no place for your kind. I am Entei. I live surrounded by the fiery lava of volcanoes. Depart from here. Immediately. I'm sure that's the same thing he said the last time. Well, we're going to beat him up again. Let's get started, shall we? Uh, Wait, let me switch to Ashley so I don't mess up the Pounce Wand. That would be not great. So, Pounce Wand to begin. We have an all power up orb. I'm not sure how strong this guy is gonna be. Because I think he was pretty easy the first time we fought him. But we've seen that Rayquaza and Groudon were both really, really tough. But we do have a squad of good fire types that we've managed to build up so far. And um, let's use Titania's turn. You know what? Actually, we're gonna hold off on using the all power up orb. Because I only have two and we have three bosses to fight. So I'm gonna hold off until the next one. We have Link Boost, meaning that... Meaning that our linked moves for Peanut are going to do a ton more damage, but there we go. There's the Rainbow States kicking in. Let's see what that can do. We need to get Titania in range to attack, because we could just flinch lock this thing with Air Slash. Yeah, we're taking pretty much no damage here. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> This should be a pretty straightforward... Oh, it's it's done. 
Yeah, okay. Well, that was significantly easier than Rayquaza and Groudon, and for that, I'm thankful. I'm glad I didn't use the all-power-up orb. Team Sky Blue's courage in the fierce battle left an impression on Entei. You can now access the Sacred Field camp and... Entei joined your team. And we recruited Magmar, Arcanine, and another Torkoal. Link Boost was really nice, but we do already have a Torkoal. And maybe I'll fish for Link Boost on Peanut himself. Because it did seem to be pretty powerful. So thank you for teaching us, Torkoal, but we don't need you, I'm afraid. We'll add you to the team anyway, because I pressed yes instead of no. Alright then, that's one matchup with the Legendary Beasts done, and it's time for another one. We're heading out to the Lightning Field to rematch Raikou, and we're going to be bringing Precious, Ashley, and Discord for this. Again, considering type matchups, and it's been a while since we used Discord. Since we have Steamroll on Ashley, he shouldn't have any issue dealing a ton of damage even to an Electric type. So, let's do it. Something else that I quite like about this composition is that the pledge effect that Precious and Ashley have, the Sea of Flames, seems to do a ton of damage. I'm pretty sure it's based on the maximum health of the opponent, so it's really good against bosses. So that's going to be another benefit to having this team composition. Yes, Entei was really, really straightforward, and I'm imagining that the rest of the rematches will be as well, but I'm going to take them as seriously as possible. Just so that I don't make any silly mistakes and get caught out, because that has happened in the past. Jeez! 705! Discord, my goodness! That's a lot of damage. This is Lightning Field, my domain. To all those who enter, I show no mercy, no matter what. With my electric bolts, I will devastate you again. We'll see about that. Right then, so we picked up a couple of recruits. We got a Jolteon, an Ampharos, and a Tropius. Again, I'm not too worried about how this fight is going to play out. I think we'll be okay. But we're going to do what we always do. We're going to start with a Pounce Wand. Discord does a ton of damage, so that's great. And I think it would be even greater if he could do even more damage, so... Whenever we get the opportunity... Oh, Reflect. <sighs> Had to try and ruin my fun, didn't it? Well, we're gonna... We're gonna Empowerment Seed Discord anyway. Because he's gonna do a lot of damage. It suffices to be said. Alright, Spiky Boy. Show him what you got. Actually had a couple of uh, run-ins with some monster houses when I was running through this dungeon that proved to be kind of difficult, actually. Mainly because I had all three of my team members splitting up to try and find the stairs. So there were situations where Precious would run headfirst into a monster house, and that didn't work out particularly well for us. Discord, why are you using Discharge? Do not use Discharge. You have one move. Well, two, technically, because they're linked. Oh man, Linked Boost would be really good for the Discord as well. Maybe we need to get that rare quality. Okay then. Um, what I'll do here is I'll heal up this Ampharos with Precious's turn. I moved Ashley in range because I want her to get the Pledge move off. Hopefully she has the initiative to do that. Yeah, excellent. It missed. Ah, but we did two in a row! Ha ha! Sea of Flames. Oh, and we finished it off right there and then. Team Sky Blue's courage in the fierce battle left an impression on Raikou. Raikou joined your team. We also recruited Jolteon, Ampharos, and Tropius. Alright then, time for our final rematch of the day. Time to take on Suicune at the Northwind Field. And the team is going to be Precious, Violante, and Discord. That's our go-to team for dealing with water types. Not as much innate synergy with this team, just a lot of strength. 
just generally really, really powerful. And similar to what I did in the last two dungeons, I'm going to be changing their tactics, and it took me quite a while to get into the habit of changing tactics. But I'm going to set them to all go the other way. Hit auto mode, and it's going to get me through the dungeon nice and easy. We have no Ashley this time, but it's fine because Biolante has Steamroll. And it should be a pretty straightforward time to get through this dungeon. Oh yes, absolutely. I regret this decision immediately. This is happening. I will suffer for my faves. This is happening. I am building a team of just my favorite Pokemon in this dungeon. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. Why have I got two Azumarill with Aqua Ring? Why is this my fate? What have we got here? A Walrein, a Cloyster, and a Dugong. I don't think we've seen any of these Pokemon yet. Plus, we've got our usual good selection of items. Let's recruit these guys, because I don't think we have any of them. Walrein is really cool as well. We have too many Pokemon with us, though. I'm going to have to get rid of one of my Azumarill. A shame, I suppose, but that's how it is. And we got a Cloyster as well, and we're going to have to get rid of... Well, since I have to choose, I think I'm going to get rid of Dugong. This is the opposite of a problem, really, having so many good Pokemon available to us. I really like Cloyster, though. I prefer it to Dugong, so we're going to go with that. You mean to challenge me? I find little satisfaction in fighting. However, if you refuse my demand that you leave... I will accept your challenge. Experience it. My true power. Unleashed. Alright then, final rematch of the day. Let's take on Suicune and... For the third time in a row, let's start things off with a Pounce Wand. We have a full squad of recruits for this battle. I just couldn't resist the temptation of Azumarill and Crobat. Plus, we found some pretty cool other Pokemon elsewhere. Warrain seems really strong, and Cloyster has Hydro Pump. Interesting, okay. Summoning the Rain. That's going to benefit its attacking moves, but it's also going to benefit ours, because we have a lot of water types. Plus, Steamroll means that we're not doing resisted damage. We have a bunch of Empowerment Seeds. We also have a bunch of Plain Seeds, because Biolante well, I had to revoke her independent exploration rights because she just kept getting knocked out by everything. It was pretty awful, actually. So I ended up having her tag along with Precious or Discord for most of the dungeon because she honestly burnt through most of our Reviver Seeds. It's lucky that these... Oh! <laughs> that was 999 damage. That was act. Is there a damage cap in the game? Did we reach it? Wow. All right, who got chunked out? That was Azumarill. Let's heal you up. Okay, so Discord is kind of overkilling this fight a little bit. I was actually thinking that it would be kind of fun to do a bit of a science experiment to find out how much damage Discord could do. I think we just did it. <laughs> Yep, that'll do. Team Sky Blue's courage in the fierce battle left an impression on Suicune. Suicune joined your team. And we also recruited Azumarill, Crobat, my second favorite Pokemon of all time, Crawdaunt, Walrein, and Cloyster. 
Well, that was a successful day. Those boss rematches were not as difficult as I thought they might be. But that's okay, because we got to see Discord do 999 damage. We are drawing close now to the end of the series. There's only a little bit left for us to do. In the next part, we're going to check out a bunch of dungeons that we haven't been to yet, including the Unknown Relic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Violante, what is going on here? Violante? I can't take you anywhere. Well, this is not good. Oh, come on. Oh, tease me, why don't you?